How's it going, my fellow anglers? We have just been given a list of the 19 fish species coming with the new ocean fishing location, Kaiji no Ri, or Kaiji no Sato, which, if my confusion in my research has done me any good, translates roughly to village of pleasure? <laughs> whatever that may mean, or village of comfort, or village of openness, maybe referring to the vastness of the 20 by 20 kilometer fishing area. But before anyone asks, no, we do not have a release date with this dev diary. But you have to think, if they are giving us the species right now, there's really only maybe the fishing location and the equipment to give us in the future, so... It's gotta be coming soon, you would think. But speaking back to the species, we have got 19 species to go through today, the largest of which is over 880 pounds, and the longest of which is over 13 feet in length. So, if you're ready to set some hooks into some saltwater critters, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes in. Let's get into it, everyone. It's Legendary Bow Angles. Naturally, when you think of this region, tuna comes to mind first. I didn't write that, that just comes straight from the dev diary. And there definitely seems to be some truth to that. We have got six different tuna species coming with this location, including possibly the largest fish to be included in the game. Now just to speed this up a bit, I am going to be reading off the species as well as the weight and size and then possibly a few details before moving on. So if you do want to see even more information, I would recommend looking up the entire dev diary which I will include down in the description but you can also follow Fishing Planet on their Facebook or in their forum or in their discord to get these dev diaries as they come out but here we go number one the yellowfin tuna this sucker can get to 440 pounds and 8.2 feet in length it says they stay above 100 meters in depth and will be active with other species of tuna during the night and day. So definitely one to look out for. Number two, the big eye tuna. Sharing similarities in size and behavior as the yellowfin tuna, we will likely see this guy hanging around in the same schools chasing our lures. So it may be a toss up which we catch in those active fish zones. It seems like they hang out in the same circles. Number three, the longfin tuna or albacore. These fish can grow up to 132 pounds and have been known to be found up to 2,000 feet in depth. What is interesting about what they mention about this fish is that this tuna seems to be a big fan of squid. So that might be a really good detail to know. Number four, the skipjack tuna. Relatively small in comparison with its tuna brethren, this guy is likely to only be found up to 77 pounds, which is still a sizable fish. We will like find these fish in huge schools scarfing up small fish crustaceans and squid number five the dog tooth tuna this guy looks like a tuna crossed with one of those generic dinosaur toys from the 90s which only a few of you will understand that reference but you know I had to throw it out there they will be found in a range of 10 to 300 meters in depth reaching eight feet in length and up to 287 pounds which is quite a bit taller than me but only like 50 pounds more so I have mixed feelings about this fish. And number six, the big kahuna tuna, the bluefin. This is the heaviest fish at this new location, reaching weights over 880 pounds at an impressive nine feet in length. This fish, which is worthy of its own TV show, looks like it won't venture below 200 meters in depth, but will certainly put a strain on the strongest rods that come out at this new location. And now with the tuna out of the way, let's get on to some of those other species. Starting off with number seven, the Ruby Snapper. Growing to only 77 pounds, these will still be a bright blast of red that you usually only see in the ocean when a shark bites into a seal. It seems these may be a bit of a nuisance species, going after a number of different baits in a wide 90 to 400 meter depth range. Number eight, the green jobfish. Another nuisance looking species, these will be found in one to 120 meters in depth and weigh up to 35 pounds. They favor rock coastal areas and coral reefs so it seems this might be a good fish to target from shore if you can cast out to those areas number nine the Japanese amberjack 
a medium sized schooling fish that reaches 88 pounds and 5 feet in length. It seems they'll respond well to baits and lures and staying in shallower water during the night while diving deeper during the day. Number 10. The Greater Amberjack The largest of its family, these guys can reach 176 pounds in weight and surpassing 6 feet in length. It says that these guys like to hang out around structures such as caves, reefs, and shipwrecks, and has a tenacious fighting spirit, giving itself the nickname of a reef donkey. Number 11, getting over some of these smaller fish so we can get into some of these heavy hitters. The Japanese Jack Mackerel, living at depths up to 900 feet, it mentions you should be able to easily catch these one foot, one pound buggers off the marina with shrimp and small fish. So eventually this could be a good way to catch fish off the marina, turn it into cut bait and take it out onto the open sea with you. Oh, we might have to wait a few patches for that. Number 12, the Japanese anchovy. Now this guy is likely to be the all time favorite fish on the map for many of you. Please sense the sarcasm there. This 3.5 ounce, eight inch long fish can be found at depths up to 1,380 feet. It says we should be able to catch these guys on natural eggs, spawn sacks, or sea worms, as well as some soft baits such as worms or slugs. Number 13, now this is a change up for sure. The big fin reef squid. Active at both day and night, though more active during night, this predator will reach two and a half feet in length and weigh as much as 4.4 pounds. Now we will be able to use squid jigs to catch these guys and as Andre mentioned a way back during our interview, we should be able to turn these guys into bait to then use with the fish. And that'll kind of be our introduction into the crafting system, but we also might have to wait a few patches for that as well. Number 14, the Striped Bonita. Reaching 22 pounds at three feet, we'll be able to target these guys on a number of baits and lures. That's that's really all I'm gonna say about that guy. <laughs> Number 15, the narrow barred Spanish mackerel. These guys look like they'll be quite the target. At up to 154 pounds and eight feet in length, we'll find these guys perusing around coral reefs, estuaries, and lagoons. It says these guys are voracious predators that hunt around the clock, so I think you better be ready. Number 16, now we're getting into some of the more popular fish. The Mahi Mahi, a bit of an icon for the sport fishing world due to its beautiful color. These guys will reach six and a half feet in length and 88 pounds. It says they'll be perusing around the surface of the ocean, chasing after a number of baits and lures. And I think that will be a favorite target of many. Number 17, and this is sure to be a popular one as well. The giant Trevally, definitely a favorite to sport anglers. This fish is an extremely tough fighter, reaching up to six and a half feet in length and 176 pounds. It says we'll be able to catch these guys on a variety of tackle and baits at different depths and areas throughout the day but usually as solitary hunters. I think these will be a real challenge for us to figure out just during the day, uh, different depths, different locations. It'll be really interesting to catch one of these guys, and I think you'll be happy uh, just catching one uh, because it might just take so much of a challenge just to find them. I'll definitely be interested in finding out more. Now, as we dive into these big boys here, I just wanted to ask one more time. If you haven't hit that like button on the video, please consider doing so. It helps me out. It helps Fishing Planet out, getting more viewers and more players playing the game, which grows the community. So if you've already hit it, then thank you. And let's get into these last two heavy hitter fish. Number 18 the giant grouper. These guys are not going to be picky about food. And like real life, it is literally recommended to throw out the biggest bait you've got onto a bottom rod hook and just holding on. <laughs> These guys can reach 8.9 feet in length and over 880 pounds, giving the old big kahuna bluefin tuna a run for its money as the baddest fish at this location. But if there were another fish that could just put a hole in the competition, at number 19, we've got the striped marlin, which is sure to be a formidable target for us anglers, growing to 496 pounds and an impressive 13 feet in length or more. Definitely set to be one of the top targets at this location. 
But that is going to wrap up the 19 different fish we should be seeing at this new ocean fishing location, Kaiji no Sato. I am so hopeful that is pronouncing it correct. I know I am certainly excited to see more about this fishing location, as well as learning when that release date will be. But they do give more information about the fish, as well as some information on locating fish on active fishing zones, such as seeing seagulls flying overhead and other stuff. So I would recommend checking out the dev diary, which I'll leave a link to in the description, or you can go find Fishing Plan on their Facebook or their Discord or their official forum, where you can learn more as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already join us at our live streams every wednesday night from 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central but we'll see you in the next video take care everyone and as always remember we're one planet one family game on